Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will continue the problems based on tableau data interpretation. First of all, read the information which is provided in this uh, question. Here the information is about number of medals owned by five different uh, five different countries in uh, six different years. Here these are the five different countries uh, and uh, these are the years from 2005 to 2010. The information is about number of medals won by five different countries uh, over the years from 2005 to 2010. That is the given information. Now you need to solve the questions uh, based on the information. Here the first question is uh, which country won the second highest number of uh, medals over all the years together? Second highest. Uh, he is asking about to calculate a uh, second highest value. So first and foremost thing you need to add all the values. Uh, here for first uh, country A. Country A units place. Uh, I am not taking all the values uh, uh, here. Just I am taking adding all the values at this position itself. Uh, here the units place. Uh, 2 plus 2 4. 4 plus 4 8. Uh, and next 10th uh, place. Uh, 2 plus 6 10. Uh, 2 plus 6 8. 12. 19. 19 plus 6, uh, 25, 25 plus 9, 25 plus 9, 34. 3 is the carry forward. And next, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. A is equal to 748. Number of medals won by A. Country A, that is 748. Now, country B. Here it is uh, 5, 7, mm, 15, 15 plus 10, 25. 2 is the carry forward. Next, 2 plus 4, 6, 12. 12 plus uh, 2, 14, 14, 20, 20, 23. Again, 2 is the carry forward. 2 plus 1, 3. 335. Number of medals won by country B. That is uh, 335. And next, country C. Country C is equal to, first, uh, calculate units place. Uh, here it is uh, 5, 11, 19. 19 plus 6, 25. 25 plus 5, uh, 30. 3 is the carry forward. 3 plus 3, 6, uh, 6, 10, 17, 17, 22, 30. 3 is the carry forward again. 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. 500. Number of medals won by country C. Number of medals won by country C, that is uh, 500. Now coming to country D. Country D is equal to, here all the units places. 5 plus 6, uh, 11, 11 plus 9, 20, 23, 23 plus 28, uh, 28 plus 9, uh, 28 uh, plus 9, that is 37. 3 is the carry forward. Next, uh, this is 10, 8, uh, 17, 17, 20, 23. 237, 237, number of medals won by country D, that is 237 over all the years. And finally, we will be left over with uh, country E. Calculate country E value, units place is uh, 4 plus 8, 12, 12, 20, 27. 2 is the carry forward. And next, uh, 2 plus 6, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 11, 16, 22 and 30. 3 is the carry forward. And uh, 3 plus 1, 4. 3 plus 1, 4. 4, not 7. Now, if you look at all the values, the question what he is asking is uh, second highest. Highest is obviously 748, that is country A. Now, we want second highest, uh, which is nothing but uh, 500. Second highest is 500, which is for the country C. Country C is the right answer, option C. Option C is the right answer. Next one. Second question. What was the approximate percent increase in number of medals won by country C? Country C in the year 2008. Country C in the year 2008. That is 108. From the previous year. Previous year 46. Now we need to calculate percentage increment. Percentage increment is equal to what? Difference between those two. Difference between those two values 108 minus 46 divided by previous year value 46 into 100 percentage whenever you are calculating a percentage into 100 is common thing but 
here you are calculating only the approximate percentage it is not about exact value 108 minus 46 here it is 62 62 divided by 46 into 100 now you can cancel with two table 31 times and this is uh, 23 times now the value is 3100 divided by 23 which is approximately equal to here you can cancel with 23 table 23 ones are 23 and next uh, uh, 80 will be there 80 means uh, 3 times uh, 69 again uh, uh, 11 will be left over 110 110 means uh, it is uh, approximately that is uh, 4 times uh, 134 point something you will get the answer as approximately 134 point something according to the options option B is the right answer option B 134 percentage that is the required answer this is not the exact value this is only the approximate percentage approximate percentage is equal to 134 percentage that is the required answer let us look at the third question if 45 percent of medals won by country b here we are talking about country b in the year 2006 in the year 2006 were gold medals here 45 percentage 45 percentage and the year we are talking about is 2006 45 percentage are gold and next uh, 10 percentage were bronze 10 percentage were bronze 10 percentage were bronze and the remaining were silver medals remaining were silver remaining in the sense total is always uh, 100 percentage out of 100 percentage 45 plus 10 uh, 55 that is completed still we left over with 45 percentage remaining 45 percentage is uh, silver now the question uh, what we need to calculate is uh, what was the number of uh, silver medals won by that country here the country is uh, country which we are talking about is uh, b country b here the country which we are talking about is uh, country b for country b total number of medals in 2006 that is 60 in 60 number of silver medals number of uh, silver medals which is equal to in this total silver is having only 45 percentage what is 45 percentage of this value that is your answer 0 0 gets cancelled 5 2 sir 5 9 times sir next 2 1 sir 2 3 sir 3 into 9 27 Therefore, number of silver medals won by country B in the year 2006, that is 27. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Let us look at the fourth question. Here the question is, uh, number of medals won by country E, number of medals won by country E in the year 2007, 2007 value, that is 110. Country E, 2007, 110. Approximately what percent of number of medals won by country A in the year 2008? Here we are talking about country A and the year 2008 which is equal to 172. Now the question what is asking is uh, here this value 110 is what percent of uh, 172? Therefore our required percentage, required percentage, required percentage is equal to 110 divided by 172 into 100 into 100 percentage here as we are calculating the approximate percentage uh, instead of taking 172 i'll take 170 here 0 0 gets cancelled therefore double one double zero divided by 17 calculate this value here it is 17 sixer 17 sixer 102 and still 8 is left over 80 means uh, that is 4 times. So, our required answer is approximately 64 percentage. Our required answer is approximately 64 percentage. Among the given options, option E is the right answer for this question. Option E. Last question in this session. See here. Here the question is, uh, one of the country's performance decreased uh, consistently. Here, according to the given question, one of the country's performance decreased consistently from the year 2005 to 2010, from starting year to ending year.
from starting year to ending year, the country's performance decreased consistently. Now, the question is, which of the following is that country? What is that country e, which is decreased consistently? If you look at country A, here it is uh, not decreases from starting to ending consistently. Every time that particular value must be decreased from while you are checking from 2005 to 10. From here to here value is increases. So this is not your answer. This is not your answer. Check uh, country C. From here to here decreases. From here to here again decreases. But from here to here 46 to 108 this is not decreases. So you can eliminate uh, this value also. And next, if you look at uh, country D, here to here value decreases, here to here value decreases, again decreases, and next again here also decreases, again here also decreases. So for each and every year, while coming from 2005 to 2010, gradually the performance is uh, decreased uh, for the country D. Country D is the right answer for this question. Option D. If you look at uh, uh, this one country E as well here it is decreases but immediately it is uh, increases it is not decreases so you can eliminate option E as well country E as well okay so the required answer for this question is uh, country D so that uh, option D is the right answer for this question guys uh, I hope you enjoy the session I hope you understand all the problems uh, in this session in the next session we'll discuss uh, some more problems related to tablet data and petition thank you thanks for watching